Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to show you if you're updating your new QuickBooks to the newer a newer year, what are the things you need to know and how can you do it? Just know you can either you can keep your old QuickBooks file and add a new one or update it to the new version. So let me walk you through how to do that. All right, so you have downloaded the newest version or you purchased it on a CD, and I want to walk you through the process of the different ways you can install the newest version on QuickBooks. So you can actually keep your older version if you need to. So say you do bookkeeping, sometimes it's not the best idea to always update people's books because if they had the older version, they can't open it. So that's something to, if you're opening other people's books and working on them, something to know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit yes, we want to let it update our software. And I'm gonna walk you step by step as we go. We're gonna go ahead and click next. We're going to go through the desktop installer now. So QuickBooks installer, we're going to click next. We're going to agree to the terms. If you want, go through the process and read them all. And if you want, you can print them over here to the right. Then when you're ready, click next. And you're going to need to get your license and product numbers. So if you don't have it on the back of your box, you actually can go to the camps website. I'll show you what that looks like. You may have to log into the camp's website to get the information that you need. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna find the one you want and you're gonna click on details. So I have multiple, multiple different ones in QuickBooks just because I've been using it for a long time. And then right here is gonna be your license number and your product number. So you can just copy that and paste it copy your product number and paste it. If you ever if you ever need to download it, the download link is right here. So I go back to my account, click on details, and the download information is right there. So you're gonna paste your license and your product number. You can type them in, whichever you want. Click next. Now this is where it's the magic happens, okay? So it says express is what is recommended or customize. If you have more than one, if you're going to want to just update your version, you're going to, you can do express, but I'm going to show you guys through the custom, how you can have more than one QuickBooks year on your computer at a time, because sometimes I have to open company files. Like I have different people who send me theirs and it's in older versions. If I only had 2018 on my computer and they're in 2016, I wouldn't be able to open their software. Well, I could, but they wouldn't be able to open it again afterwards because once you upgrade, you can't go back. So I'm going to customize it and I'm going to click next. It says the first option is I'll be installing QuickBooks desktop on this computer. The second one is I'll be using desktop on this computer and storing it on a company file. I will not be using desktop on this computer. I will be st storing our company files here so it can share with the other networks. You're going to pick, you know, whether you're using a network, not on a network or whatever. So then we're in, I'm just going to be putting it on my computer. So I'm going to click next. Then it's going to ask you, where do you want to store it? So if you want to store it, you can browse all your computer. If you have a network, that kind of stuff, you put it there. This option is actually replacing the version that's already there. I don't want to do that. I actually want to put it on my computer separate so I can go into either company and either year that I want so that if you guys ask me a question about a specific year, I can go in and show you in that year what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. You can print your license information if you want, but... I don't need that because I'll just log back into the website. And it's going to start installing. So we'll come back when it's the next step. All right, now you can click open QuickBooks. And then you're going to click begin activation. And you're going to answer the question. So it says... You can either verify it by your email address, your business phone number, or your zip code on your billing address. So I'm going to type, you can do any of those and then click continue. You can go through and answer the questions. All right, so under number five, it's going to ask you, do you want to accept credit cards? Do you want to print checks? You use a payroll service. These are all upsell options that 
Intuit slash QuickBooks offers. So they, you can process credit cards with them, but they charge you a fee. So you choose either yes, no, no, but want to, and then they're going to know whether they can promote these things to you. I'm going to just click no on all these for now and click next. Because if you say yes, I'm going to print checks, then they're going to be trying to sell you their checks, which honestly, um, if you need a resource for checks, I either recommend Costco, theirs aren't quite as high quality, or I have a local place actually that says that they do just as high quality, but the best price. So your comfort, your activation is now complete and you can print the page if you want. And then at the bottom, it's offering you to try payroll. I am going to say for now, no thanks, start QuickBooks. So this has to do with why QuickBooks uses their internet connection for updates and whether you use automatic updates or not. That's up to you. I honestly just leave mine on automatic updates and then it will ask you, do you want to update right now? And you can hit yes or no whenever you open your QuickBooks file. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so now it does not currently have any of my previous files in here. So what do you do? You're going to click open or restore. And you're going to click open a company file and you're going to click next. We're going to go look for your company files if you have some set up. So what I do if I don't know where my NAT are at, I go to my old file, my old QuickBooks, and I'll look at the bottom here. It says location, C, documents and settings, all users, documents, into it, and then files. So then I go, I'll go over to my other one and I click open and restore, open a company file, then I click next. I'm going to go down to the C drive. So I'm going to go under C drive, users, public, public documents, then Intuit, then QuickBooks. You just have to figure out where yours is at. Then company files, and I'm going to find the company file that I want to work with. You're going to find your, you want to look for the one that has this little green square and click, it says QuickBooks company to the right. Okay, then click open and you put your password in, click OK. And then what it's going to say is this is a newer version. Just be safe, we'll make a backup for you. So go ahead and click update and it tells you where your backup is going to be sitting. So go ahead and hit update now. So they make a backup for you and then they also convert your file to the new version. Now it's going to say you're all set. You successfully updated your QuickBooks file and click done. It's going to take it a second to load and give it a second. Boom. There you go. So it'll give you a tour of the new features. You can do batch entries and send journal entries. See, now I have the accountants version. So there's some different features that I have that you don't have. Um, overall though, everything looks exactly the same. See, Here's my 2017 version. Here's my 2018 version. Hardly any difference. The thing is, is that if you do process payroll, you need to update your software every three years. If you don't process payroll, you don't really have to update your software, but every now and then. So I will see you guys around. Have an amazing day. If you need help with QuickBooks and you'd like to learn A to Z, feel free to check out my confidence with QuickBooks. It takes you from this step all the way to the end through vendors, customers, the banking center, and understanding your reports. If you enjoy this tip and you'd like to get more tips, feel free to subscribe up above or down below, and you can get my tips and tricks every week. Or if you need personalized help fixing some area of your QuickBooks and you'd like to work with me privately, feel free to go up above or down below and check out my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.